Hi YouTube, today we're making some pecan flaxseed blueberry pancakes. So I have one cup of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and I'm going to put a dash of cinnamon in there instead of sugar, and a dash of turmeric to give it a, a little color that I like. I have one egg that I've already separated, and I've already beaten the white into a nice fluffy batter and I am now going to beat the yolk here and then add the milk into it. Just to give it a little lightness there. Okay, so now I'm going to add in a half a cup of milk there. I will add more milk if I I'm now going to dump the flour mixture in there. <laughs> Bloopers, but we're going on. I dropped the mixer. Okay, so now I'm putting the last of the cup in there. Okay. I'm going to need more milk because I need enough milk in there to get it to the consistency to hold the cons and the blueberries and the flax seeds. So put a little fourth of a cup of milk in there and I'm going to go again. You don't have to worry at this point if you put your nuts in. My mother requested extra nuts so that's what we're doing and I'm going to. So I have a half cup of pecan no actually a, a, a little more than a half fourth of a cup of pecan and two tablespoons of flax seed and I am going to add in a half cup of blueberry so you see we got a lot of chunkiness in there. The blueberries are for the sugar and then I'm just stirring that around with a spoon. There. It's good enough. And lastly we put in the egg whites. And so I'm just going to pour that into the bowl with the egg whites and fold it around. And that will be this is enough for six pancakes. Now I'm going to fold that around. I don't know if you've ever seen how you fold. I like mine nice and mixed so that I can get the airiest, lightest, fluffiest blueberry pecan pancakes ever. I don't really worry about the lumps so much. But I want to make sure I get it nice and mixed because that's what makes it light. Okay, so you see how I did that? Okay, now the last ingredient is one and a half tablespoons of oil. I'm using sunflower oil, so this is really, really rich in your omega 3s. Just mix that in there. I should have put the oil in earlier, but I'd forgotten about it. And that's how it should look nice and shiny. That's a good pancake batter. Now we're going to cook these puppies up. Okay, I've got three pancakes on. Takes about 30 seconds to make them. You see how that one's kind of rising up there? All that chunky goodness, pecans and blueberries. Mmm, mmm, mmm. As you can see, they're getting a little nice and crispy there. And when they get the bubbles like that on them, 
that's when it's time to flip them. There they are, three heart healthy pancakes. And we're gonna serve this up with some oatmeal.